guys, we're now one, two, three again. And we're back. Back again with another review. Today's item. Something a bit different than usual. It's the Thomas and Friends Thomas and Rally Family of Four set. This thing I acquired quite a long time ago uh, with a big lot of uh, rare items. Um, I'm just slow making my way through them. Uh, diesel, that diesel that was in package with one of them, that Henry that I got, that I reviewed a couple of times, a couple of videos ago. And this is another one of that set. So let's get on to the review now, shall we? The Family of Four set was originally introduced in 1992, sadly discontinued in 2002. The Family of Four set, originally known as the Family of Four, or the set of four, was an accessory which contained a family of wooden figures including a father, mother, son and daughter as you can see here. Now this particular one is the crossover period between 1992 and 1994 of when they started going from paper deck, paper deck pulls to the varnish covered ones that we all know uh, happen in sets today. I've got a lot of items like this, like the crossover period um, like my uh, Chilton brake band which has the brown roof but is dated 1994 um, my Boko which uh, has the flat magnets but is dated 1994 there's a lot, there's a lot of um, different there's a lot of uh, crossovers between it actually coming the new shape if you see what I mean to the old version but this is a uh, new in packaging it still has the stickers on they've been opened um, it's lovely, they're all mint. I probably will use these in the video at some point. Have a look at the back of the box, just the regular stuff. As you can see that. Let's see if we can focus on that. Oh, that old Thomas logo. How we miss you so. It was things like these that I really enjoyed. It was it was really nothing to do with Thomas. They really didn't relate to Thomas in any way. They were just generic figures that you could have about your layout or your little setout. Just to have a bit more life to the layout. And I think that's what the um, the, the uh, franchise has lost with the Toshin Railway. It doesn't have the many figures. It's either the Fat Controller. That's pretty much always is. It's either Fat Controller or it's a character within a film that it sets based on. There's very little generic figures that you can actually use. Like, in my series I would have used this, these people as the Fat Controller's family. That would be uh, Lady, Lady Hat and that would be his, his daughter and son like in the episode from Toby. But in that man I probably would have used him as, um, like a lot of other people on YouTube have used him as uh, Burnett Stone. Like to replicate him in, in the series. Or I would use him as just a generic man sitting on the platform, or standing on the platform for that matter. But um, yes, I think it's a very good, um, very good item, and it was needed. And I think it should be brought back, not necessarily in the same variation. It could be brought back in different variations, so people that have this set can add to it. So, so people on YouTube or people who have the sets could uh, populate their sets more with people and have like obviously create their own little stories and have the people interacting with the engines. That's all, all it is about is imagination, trying to create stories and that's where all the YouTube fandom and all that came from is creating stories from your imagi imagination. So thank you for watching this video guys, I'm glad to be back making videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.